Hey everybody, um, this this video is going to be about more or less a preliminary let you know the video that I'm actually working on. Um, the game that I'm currently wanting to do next is Gods and Idols. Um, it's a free to play game and as you can tell it is an early access, free alpha early access on Steam and the problem right now is, as you can tell up here in the top left side, the Service server is offline. It's been offline for the since it's gone to Steam, and so I haven't actually had the chance to play this game yet. But as you can tell, just from the background, it looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. Um, I'm hoping what little bit of music I have playing that is it sounds good. Um, I love the ch battle chatter. Battle chatter going on, the battle comms going on in the background, you know, sounds beautiful and epic, you know, I turned down the graphics a little bit because since this is early access, um, I'm not sure about how well this will handle at max, I'm going to test this out, especially when I do the, um, a full in-depth video when as soon as possible, but right now I wanted when I first start the game, have a little bit slower setting in the graphics, make sure there's no issues of compatibility, you know, or stability with the game. Uh, for what I can actually explain right now, um, definitely in the settings, uh, they got first quality in beauty. Uh, you get glow, and if you can tell, like, um, maybe there's a little bit out the way, so you can see here. I don't know what kind of ship that is, but it looks kind of cool. Um, as you can tell, you can get a little bit of glow to it. Um, now I'm much sure of a performance issue that will be in the end run. But with the glow on, it works kind of cool. Um, trails. From what I can tell, let's see if I can find something that is affected by it. Over there. I can't find anything. Uh, smaller ship type to display in a fleet. And I, since I can't play the game yet, I don't know how this is going to affect by having only capitals, no fighters, or all on. Particle and particles and effects. Obviously, anyone who's played Space Engineers or any voxel game or any game with large amounts of you know stuff on the screen, having a limit of how many particles that you can see on the screen would definitely affect frame rate. Um, stars. Uh, Got lens flare. I can show you there. As you can tell. Um, to be honest, without lens flare, it kind of reminds me more of a sense of a solar fleet. A little bit. So I want to. I would like to keep that on there because it makes it look more epic as hell. Glare and flash. Sadly, no ability to use. This is pre-alpha early access. Um, star quality. Don't have access to low, medium, only high. And render distance only high. Nebula quality. I have it on medium, but you can go from low, medium, high. Your average fare, just to show you what it looks like. That's low, medium as it's been, and high. And the problem with I have with high is just that it's kind of bright color. It's just like the brightness. It's a lot more finer, especially the background is definitely. Um, I think I might keep it at high. Uh, asteroids. Let me see if I can get a good asteroid in the background. Uh, let me see. There's a good one right there. Low quality. Definitely looks like something uh, early 2000s. Uh, medium. Nothing spectacular. High. Tomorrow uh, it's got that you know dust cloud around it. You know that, you know, that looks good. Uh, asteroid scatter. As in those asteroids like that right there. I think that looks better. Uh, planet quality, uh, as you can tell, we'll look at the planet. Right now it's on low, and it goes to medium, then it goes to high. Um, to me, right now, I can't really tell much of a difference. Alright, over to mouse and keyboard. Apparently the only thing I can do is invert my mouse. To be honest, I know this is pretty alpha and early access. Uh, after I get into the game, I'm going to then find out what you know, on the keyboard is actually used. But to be 
be honest, even though this is pre alpha and early access, and I expect there to be you know, things to be added on, I think this is one of those things that should definitely This is one of those core thinking things about all games on PC. If they're at least going to be accepted properly, you got to have keyboard and mouse and key binding capability. Games without this, I think, really, while they still can be played and can be enjoyable, this can be an issue with games when you have a player base that is used to having its own unique key binding from person to person. Audio volume, uh, slider bars, I'm okay with. I personally prefer to have a number set from 0 to 100, you know, clickety clickety click. Allows for more accurate precision, in my opinion. Uh, master volume, I have it drop down. Um, effects volume, that's those explosions in the background. And it's the chatter and everything. Music, obviously with music. Ambient volume, it's kind of more like a, get that, it's more like a, not the chatter. You see? As you can see, I'm raising it right now. It's got a ambient, it's not really much. I actually like it a little bit. Uh, video, you got your resolutions and everything. I know, 1440 by 900. For those of us who are the PC Master Race, I will know this is going to be an issue. Uh, you got VSync, full screen. The AA um, tells you how much you can go up to 16. I like that. I don't really do. I don't know why I had it to off. I think I'm going to go to back over 4 as usual. Uh, textures. I have everything set on, you know, high clouds. Let me see if it'll actually show. It doesn't actually show any difference on the screen right now. So right now I'm going to keep that on low. Uh, Nebula. Since I don't actually see. Uh, right now the thing is is that. Uh, like I know I said to get the graphics set down to high. That's because I'm not going to maximum. Because this game seems to have the ability to actually do stuff on a large scale. Um, as soon as the servers become available, I'm going to start going to the game and actually start recording stuff for the video and possibly do a stream. I don't know if I'll do it tonight, tomorrow, or whenever the, after, how quickly after the servers come back up. I know there's a tutorial. Definitely not want to go do a stream on the, the tutorial, even though that might be a possibility. Those tutorials are pretty boring. Um, Close this back out. <laughs> Woo! That, of course. Now, <laughs> that was kind of scary a little bit. But let's right now, let me talk about a little bit this game. I love how the way the battle scene is showing out. I'm believing this is definitely mostly scripted. There seems to be no long term battle. There seems to be fighters, missile cruisers, missile boats, destroyers, stuff like that. Brigades seem to be in the game, and it seems to be set around where you are this god or this being, and you're pretty much in control of this one planet. One I can tell, and you pretty much, you know, do whatever you want from what I can see. And that idea alone has me interested. Since this game is described as a MMO RTS. There's, been, there's are RTS games that have online play, but MMO RTS. Like, does that mean it's trying to go on the scale of, uh, like, you know, World of WoW? Like, you know, from what I understand, the, the universe is only one universe, so that's kind of like similar to EVE Online, where there's only one actual universe, everyone who's playing the game is all set in the same universe. There's no, oh, well, you're in, you know, universe one, two, three, four, five. I like that. I love games where there is only one universe. Now, if a game is pop, you know, is extremely heavily populated, that can be an issue. And that is a risk, you know. but how they handle this, obviously right now any game, you know, server issue, there are a lot of complaints on the, um, on the Steam um, forums because of the fact is that since it went to Steam release, it's had server issues, so it's only been on Steam for like two days, three days, you know, that's something that should be expected, only big game, you know, you know developers, 
those who have a lot of, you know, money can handle this. Can handle, you know, pop. Come on, it's an MMORTS. How many RTS games have we gotten this year? Next year, we got Halo Wars 2 coming out. And I'm waiting for that massively since I'm a big RTS fan. Um, we just don't have a lot of really good RTS games right now that have recently came out. The, the one that I'm playing a lot of is Homeworld Sands of Karak. I love that I actually think about doing a video on that. If anyone who actually sees this video, uh, go down and put in the comments. Do you want me to do a video on Homeworld Sands of Karak? You know, there's a ton of videos out there for it. I can, you know, so if you don't want to watch me being all boring and everything and doing a video on Sands of Karak, just go on YouTube, put into Homeworld into the search bar, and there will be tons of stuff out there. Well. That's going to be the end of this video. I am hoping that possibly I can do a video on this tonight. If I can't do a proper video tonight, I'm probably going to do another stream on either uh, on either The Division or World of Warships and maybe possibly World of Tanks. If you want one of those three games, uh, or do you want me to just pick a different random game completely, just let me know up in the uh, comment section. Uh, like or dislike, I prefer you to do either one. And you know, share, post this on Facebook, Twitter, you know, share this with your friends and family. Maybe not your family, but you know, I have a few videos out there that I mean, may not be to the liking everyone, but it's definitely, you know, try something new. Well, I'm Corin, and just remember, keep wrecking those noobs and have a good time.